Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. And today I have an interesting video for you. I want to talk about a hammock with a mosquito net made by the company called Arrear. Okay. This is sold on Amazon. This hammock runs around $35 to $40 price point. So behind me, I have two trees, one right there and one right here. And it's my objective to, to take a look at this. This thing, from the reviews that I've read and the information that was provided about this hammock, I'm very excited to do this review. One of the things that I liked the most, not only the fact that it had a bug net, but it had triple stitching. So we're gonna open this up, take a closer look, and then I'll hang it on these trees behind me and we'll see uh, what my thoughts are. So when I first opened the package, I noticed that it comes in a very nice bag. Notice that bag has these straps on the side, so it could be worn almost like a backpack. So if you want to walk in, hike in, you have your hammock with you. I thought that was pretty cool of them to, to design the bag like that. Instead of just doing a, a drawstring, they gave you some shoulder strap options. I thought that was super, super cool. Fits real good on the back. It's not heavy at all. So let's take a look at what's included. There is the logo in case you wanted to look at it a little closer. But this is a very nice little bag, nice cord. So I, I open it up and I have one small thing. This is the net. And then I pull this section out and this is the hammock itself. And the bag of course is right there. So I'm gonna set it up here behind me. But before I do that, I'm going to knock all those dead branches off. So when I open this up, let me set this mosquito net down. When I open this up, let's take a look and see what we've got here. So we have this. There's the hammock. Wow, that's big. This is a two-person hammock. And if I remember correctly, I read that the weight that this thing will hold is like 600 pounds. So two people for sure included are some nice straps that we're going to utilize around the trees and when we go to hang this hammock. Now one thing I'm noticing right off the bat that I like a lot is the carabiners. They're still steel carabiners, they're not aluminum, they're still steel but they're very strong nice carabiners. Okay so there's a look at the, the hammock and if you notice the stitching like I showed earlier, like I mentioned rather, it's triple stitched. So that's that's pretty cool right there. Look at the inside. The stitching is very nice on this hammock. Thing that I like here is the pouch that everything fits in. Once the hammock is up, that pouch will double as a place to put your cell phone, your water bottle, flashlight, whatever. Things like that. Maybe your flip flops or whatever. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and knock these branches off behind me using this stick here. This is all dead stuff anyway. Just trying to clean it up a little bit. There we go. Good, not too crazy about it. There we go, almost done. Looks like that's about it for now. Now I can hang this hammock without the risk of dead branches coming in contact with it. To hang this hammock, I'm gonna lay it out on the ground. I'm 
something like that. I have two straps here. Now when you look at the straps, on one end you have some webbing and it's all stitched together very strong. And then on the other end you have all these different points where you can connect the carabiner. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen loops. That's pretty cool. I think that's very, very cool. That will go through here, just like this. Nothing too crazy. That gives us a lot of traction on the tree to hold this. So that end is going to look like that. And again, I have multiple areas where I can connect the hammock. So that's cool. Let's do the other side. Go around one more time just for good measure. Yeah. Maybe even a little more. I don't think I'm going to need that many uh, loops. Just like that. Doesn't take anything crazy. Just some kind of connection. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different options of hanging this hammock. So we'll start right here. And we'll start up high. Get that connected, come to this side, get this side connected. Look at that, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of area in this hammock. That is very easy to set up. Oh yeah, there's a lot of room in here. And again, there's my pocket put my water bottle, my cell phone, whatever I want. There is a lot of room in this hammock. That thing is huge. Definitely a two-person hammock. Feels very strong. The straps were easy to put around the tree. I just wrapped them around a couple times. Very comfortable. So if I was going to be sleeping, I would want to make sure that my head is higher than my feet. So. That's the beauty of having these straps where you can adjust them. So I could lower my feet a couple of notches. Something like that. Hopefully I'll still be off the ground. And now my feet will be a little bit lower. My head is going to be higher. If my head is lower than my feet when I sleep, I could wake up in the morning with a very bad headache. Man, I feel like falling asleep right now. Oh, that is so comfortable. It's a nice little hammock. Let's take a look at the mosquito net. If I'm not mistaken, this portion of the mosquito net comes with some cordage to go above the hammock that will serve like a ridge line. There it is right there. And here is the net itself. Now, I'm not too familiar with what's going on here. Looks like we have some, there's a zipper, okay. So this is enclosed. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. So I think I have it upside down actually here. There's a branch that came out of the tree. Okay, there it is. So you have these little pieces here that will hook to my cordage. To my ridge line so they'll basically go on my string like that and that's how the thing will stay up so let's go ahead and
see how that looks installed. I'll put the zipper on this side towards the camera to look set it like that. Let's run this ridge line. I think it's cool that the company includes everything you need. Again, the company's name is Arrear, and I want to say thank you to them for sending me out this hammock for review. And a quick apology for it taking so long for me to get this video out. We've had forest fires, that we've had the tinder fire recently, and it burnt over 8,000 acres. So it's been hard getting out in the woods with that fire going on. I like to use a cowboy bowling. And what I mean by cowboy bowling is the tail of the bowling comes out the side instead of being inside the middle. And what I'll do is I'll look down at my feet and I'll find a little toggle. I need some kind of little branch or something to use. And I've got the cord wrapped around my foot there. So I'm going to find just a small toggle. Doesn't have to be anything significant. What the idea is is I'll put this around the tree and then I'll use the toggle to hold it in place. Now on the other side over here, I'm going to use a trucker's hitch, something like that. I like to get rid of the excess cordage here, so it stays clean. And then I'll just find another toggle here to stick into this uh, lip knot, so it doesn't come undone. And then the other part of it just gets put out of the way. So here, take a look and see how this mounts up. This, start in the middle, put my way off to the feet. Like this. Okay, what happens here? Okay, I see what happens. The hammock actually has to go inside of this net. This is super cool. I didn't know that going in, so I might have to readjust my hammock. That's good to know. So when you come out to put this up, it looks like it's important to put the bug net up first. Then the hammock will fit inside. So, that should be a fairly straightforward option for us to put this up. Let's see, it looks like this is on the inside. All we have to do is turn it inside out or right side in so that we have that pocket there. And then we have to unzip and put the hammock inside. Looks a little cumbersome right now, but it's honestly not that bad. So I gotta go here. I'll just do it a half at a time. I'll do the front half and then I'll do the rear half. So I'm just running this hammock through, just like this. There we go. Find my corresponding strap. And now I can work on the rear half. the 
ceramic is inside the bug net. Just like that. So that's pretty cool. Move this down. I think this is a pretty cool little setup. I like the way this looks. I like the way this comes together. So you have this nice door here in the front where you can enter the hammock. Look at that. You got the hammock inside. Step on over. There's this. Woo, there we go. You have this beautiful bug net to protect you from all the critters that are out there. Super cool. One thing that I'm noticing is in the center here, there's a little area on the ridge line which would make hanging a light possible. I like this bug net because I can see like the stars, the sun, all that stuff. So if you're a person who likes to sleep under the stars, this would be perfect. It also breaks a little bit of the wind. Not a lot, but a little. That's cool. I like this. Very cool setup. I could, I could sleep right here all night long. Very comfortable hammock. Oh, wake me up in 10 minutes. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like having the option of no bugs. That's one of the things that gets a lot of people when they come out and they camp, especially with hammocks, is they get all these bugs and stuff flying around. And this does a good job of minimizing that. If you look right here at the end, you can see that a bug could fly in here in this hole right here. So they've included these little straps that you can cinch up to tighten the ends off so bugs can't get in there. I think that's pretty cool. This is a nice hammock. So if you're in the, in the market for a hammock that has the ability to keep the bugs out, Personally, I think this would be a great choice. Again, see that big hole that my fingers are through? You can close that. One, two. Now nothing is getting, it, getting in there. No ants, no flies, no mosquitoes, nothing like that. Nothing's getting in there. Very nice setup. Very clean hammock, very easy to set up. Again, I've learned just by setting it up just now that you need to put the bug net up first, the ridge line and the bug net up first, and then the hammock second. Very cool. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on checking out this rear hammock. Please make sure to check the description box down below. I'll put links to them where you can find this hammock. And thank you for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. If you like the type of content that you see on my channel, please thumb this video up. And also please subscribe if you like my kind of videos that I do. And when you subscribe, please make sure that that notification bell is rung. Otherwise, you'll miss content when I upload. This is a good hammock. Again, I want to say thank you to Arir for sending this out to me for review. I like it a lot. I, I really dig the fact that I can hammock camp with no bugs. Another thing that's cool about the ridge line is if I use a stronger cord, like maybe some paracord for example, I can also hang a tarp over that which would give me uh, protection from convection or wind and uh, as well as this bug protection. I think that's super, super cool. And in a survival situation, this bug net could catch fish. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.